So we are going to be watching a updated PvP video for the Demon Hunter Meta Strafe Demon Hunter build. Season 30, 2024 is the title, and it is from Keys, who is a hashtag uh, Diablo partner. Um, he also mains the Demon Hunter. So I said earlier that we're going to be watching a video or reacting to a video, rather, of someone who knows the Demon Hunter way more than I do. So make sure you guys show Keys some love. Um, he, I met him when I went to Blizzard headquarters and we got to try out the Tempest together. In fact, he actually sat right next to me when we were testing out the Tempest. Uh, so we were able to like sort of collaborate and talk to each other while we were doing it. Um, very, very smart, uh, very high game IQ individual. I have a lot of respect for him. I'm very curious. He doesn't post all that often, um, but make sure I'll have, of course, his links uh, both to his channel and to this video in the description of this one. Um, but I wanted to watch this one because, again, I'm on the Demon Hunter, and I know he knows the Demon Hunter better than probably most people, arguably. Um, he's also known for having some very unique builds, so I will lead with that as well. I have not watched this at all, so let's go take a look at this. Now, he doesn't have a face cam, so I think I'm out of the way if I go right here let's see da, 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 da. all right here we go so this is keys keys on the love all right keys what you got for us hello adventurers and welcome to another demon hunter pvp video i'm excited for it this has one been a few months since my last video i took a break from the game and i recently came back there's also new essences so there's a lot to cover on what the current demon hunter meta is Oops. I'll be covering two builds, one that really only works two for builds. very high res whale demon hunters, and then the second one that works for pretty much every demon hunter. So let's get into it. Now, it's important to note that if I like this build, I will utilize it almost immediately, um, assuming I have the essences. So I'll, those of you that have been watching the channel for a little bit, I have a couple of different builds that I've been using for the demon hunter in PvP but always looking for a new one. So uh, let's see, obviously I'm not a hyper whale, but he has 4K wings. So we'll see what he considers to be a whale whale. I'm, I'm assuming our our uh, definitions are probably similar though. The first build that I'll discuss is the one that works for pretty much any demon hunter. And there are a few different variations of this build. The set pieces are four piece urge, four piece gloom mm -hmm. and the reason you run Gloom is for the damage increase when you dash. You run Urge to increase your attack speed and beneficial effect. Does that say 10k wings? 10k res, rather? R homie, he threw me off with his white wings. I didn't know Keys had 10k res. Holy moly. <laughs> Jeez. Exploration. Your gear pieces are Best Discretion, Duplicitous Prophetics, Escalating Violence, Secret Safeguard, Turmoil, Hellbinder, Unrelenting Fur, and Pain Sour. There are a few different variations in the Pain Sour build, but for all intensive purposes, just call the Pain Sour build what we're using right now with the piece. I'm pretty sure this is the one, obviously he's going to show us, but I'm pretty sure this is the one that, like pretty similar to the build that we were using where you get two different summons, but we'll have to see. What up, Adway? We are reacting to Keys, another Diablo Immortal partner, and he's covering B uh, PvP builds for the Demon Hunter. You can sub out Knockback Shot if you want to run Impale. You can sub out Explosive Arrow for Crossbow oh, Shot. There's a lot of variations. Using. This one is the one I run into most. I think the one with Explosive Arrow and Knockback Shot works the best huh. because it procs Firestorm. It does the most damage. However, I do see variations with Impale and Multi-Shot as well. And generally, all you do is you just press Knockback Shot, Vengeance, and then you spin stick around using Pain Sour. And the difference with Pain Sour and the build that I'll show in a little bit is one fires primary attack and then the other one does not. Right. And skills-wise, like I said... I feel like... Hold on, chat. We need to be building this with him, I feel like. Let's go do that. All right, so let's go up here. Tab back. All right. Oh, he even had. Oh God, he's such a good person. He has a uh, um, chapters in this. All right. So we're, he says this is the main build. I was watching this video yesterday, dude. Keys is whenever Keys doesn't post that often, but oh, when he does, build. he always has my the attention. Set pieces are four piece urge, four piece gloom. All right. Four piece vithus, four piece gloom. I think we have a build close to that, so let's start with that. Uh, PvP Summon, I think is what I called it. Gloom. Oh, wait, he's not even using Mount Banks. 
Oh, shoot. Uh... <sighs> God. <laughs> I gotta figure out if I have enough. Took a break from the game, uh, getting ready to hop back on soon. There you go, Kevin. Hell yeah, dude. All right, well, I gotta figure out if I can even do that. Um, I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Don't I have gloom? I do. I use four set Ang of four piece Vithus for PVE. Uh, I think his is towards PVP, but um, let's see if I can build the build. All right, that Vithus, and then I need the pots. Oh yeah, is that it? I think I just got it right. Four piece, four piece gloom, four piece Vithus. Hell yeah! All right. I have PVP, I go four piece Vithus, four piece Malbanks. See, that's what I usually go for. So I'm actually surprised he's not using Malbanks. Um, but I do have my gloom pieces are in the same exact set orientation. Ironically, it's his are. That's crazy. Do you guys notice that? That's actually crazy. That it's literally the same exact spots for the set gear. Um, but my Mount Banks is also the same set. So if I want to do four piece. Uh, Mount Banks and four piece Vithus. I can easily switch that. All right, so hold on. Let's go to the essences. And the reason you run Gloom is for the damage increase when you dash. You run Urs to increase your attack speed and beneficial effect duration. Your gear pieces are best. Best discretion. All right, let's do this. Let's test his build with him, eh? Best discretion. There it is. All right. Discretion. Do yep. That's a good one. That's the one that does the knockback shot. Uh, uh, uh. That's that one. And then he was doing the bony shoulder ones. I always just my memory is like only good when it comes to uh, like what things look like. <laughs> and then I think he, yeah. Duplicitous Prophetics, Escalating Violence. Secret Safeguard. That's the one that gives you the shield, I think, for escape, which is obviously makes sense. Uh, uh, I think it's at the bottom. Nope. What was it called? Secret Safeguard. Do I not have it? <gasps> no. Chat, tell me I have it. There it is. Is this the first build he's using or the second in the video? Because the second build really good in this video. Oh, really? This is the first one. So we're just building the first one with him at this time, but we'll definitely get to the Secret second one as well. Safeguard, turmoil. Turmoil. Yeah, we're taking a look at the first one too. Oh, okay, escape. That gives a shield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I was going to say, that makes a little bit more sense if he's using um, that. And then what was this one? Hellbinder. Now, again, I um, highly respect his opinion when it comes to this class. Explosive error causes him to burn. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah, look at the second one before copying. Okay, okay. Well, I'm going to make this one and I'll save it, but then I'll, I'll check out the second one too as, as we get farther in the video. Well, Hellbinder. Yep, that one. It's been a win. Da, 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 da. Okay. Safe duration. Next. Relenting fur and pain sour. Pain sour. And we should have. I'm almost positive we have everything on this build already. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Now let me get the skills straight and then we'll just let the video play and then we'll go from there because I can fix the other things later so daring swing i always like at the top that's just personal preference escape i like at the bottom again personal preference we're keeping that but we're using knockback shot we'll do this and that's basically it right or is he using vengeance i can't remember oh he is using vengeance oh he's not using knockback shot wait 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 what what isn't that chest for knockback shot what Hold on, he he said knockback shot, didn't he? There are a few different variations in the pain sour build, but for all intensive purposes, just call the pain sour build what we're using right now with the pieces. You can sub out 
knockback shot if you want to run impale you can sub out explosive aerial for crossbow shot there's a lot of variations this one is the one i run into most i think the one with oh he yeah he is using vengeance and not i was using the wrong skill he wasn't using daring swing i don't know where i got that from big dumb on my part all right that makes more sense so he just does this and this and then spins to win yeah, yeah and then shields makes sense all right so let's say this switch oh it's on cooldown f yeah i think he's probably gonna talk about paragon so let's just let him run let him explosive cook. arrow let him cook, and chat. knockback shot works the best because it procs firestorm it does the most damage However, I do see variations with Impale and Multi-Shot as well. And generally, all you do is you just press Knockback Shot, Vengeance, and then you fake around using Pain Sour. And the difference with Pain Sour and the build that I'll show in a little bit is one fires primary attack and then the other one does not. And skills-wise, like I said, Knockback Shot, Escape, a Strafe, Vengeance, and Explosive Arrow. But again, it all depends on the pieces that you really want to run. If you want to run crossbow shot, you can drop maybe knockback shot for impale or multi shot. If you what decide up, not to run explosive arrow because you have a better crossbow shot charm, then you can move some pieces around to see what does more oh, damage to you. But pain sour build is pain sour build. It's just a couple different variations within. For Paragon Tree, there are two choices, maybe three choices, all depending on your play style and how aggressive you want to be and kind of how you want to play the class. My personal preference is to run Brawler with heavy armor, rugged, combat expertise, defender, sanctuary, finishing touch. Those are the choices that I like to run. But he does have a savior pet. It's important to note that. I don't, so that's where... Oh, I didn't change explosive arrow. Good comms. Good comms, Liz. Good comms. Good comms, good comms. Yeah, I don't have that savior pet, so I might need to do this Gladiator's one. Gladiator is also a very solid choice. You can run cheat death quick. Let me go ahead and update that. Paragon. Cheat death, quick witted, uncontrollable. I don't think he uses trapper from what I just saw. He doesn't use trapper. uses that one hello long time sub since mfr black priest i remember you bro good to see you thanks for keeping the di faith heck yeah brawler is good brawler is good Liu Kang, but i don't have a savior pet so i really need that like re-summon ability so that's usually why i run this but let me make sure i'm running all the right ones witted uncontrollable oh he uses first aid into instead of the timer that that actually tracks i feel like i've been meaning to do that uh first aid yep 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 yep, yep. all right active there you go. All right, so let's save this. Um, we're going to just call this our main. All right, so PVP keys. I want to make sure I shout him out for that. This is keys' first build. Now let's actually watch this in action. Grizzled veteran, and this is a, a vault build that I was running. So instead of first aid, you may want to run to the victor if you're getting a lot of kills. This one will help you with your defense and offense at the same time. And then the other one could be harbinger if you mm -hmm. want to kind with of run shield. with a dash build yeah maybe you would like to run blur we'll skip that part you could run a very offensive reef all right so i'm going to skip part of this because i'm not going to look at the, like the reforges and stuff um again i'm going to put the full video in the description of this video so make sure you guys watch the full video uh because he does go into a lot of details i don't plan on redoing it in my, in my reforges but if you truly want to min max obviously go off his reforges um, all right, so this is the high res build that he's talking about. Let's see this. Okay, and the second build is very, very much a whale focused or whale heavy build. This build runs four piece Mount Bank and four piece Gloom. Oh. The difference with this, a lot of the pieces are the same, like best discretion, escalating violence, secret safeguard, turmoil, unrelenting furor. The difference That's is different. Electrum Luna for the offhand, Jakar for the... Wait, wait, what was that first one? 
The ball is well, sir. Just switch to Barbarian after maxing essences on Blood Knight and Crusader. Hell yeah, Black Priest. Dude, that's awesome. It's actually really good to see you. I actually do remember you from MFR. I'm really glad you still uh, play Diablo Immortal too, man. What server are you on, by the way? Let's take a look at this essence he's talking about. He is uh, depending on escape. Yeah, he, he probably has um, impeccable timing for escape, admittedly. It, wasn't it green? Electrum Luna. I don't think I have that. I don't even know what that thing does. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Extract offhand. <laughs> Spinning Karakaraka now throws a wind wheel blade that drags enemies along its path before spinning in place and exploding. I see. Okay. All right. That makes sense to me. What up, Jenna? The difference is Electrum Luna for the offhand, Shakar for the off. Shakar? What does that do? Oh, my homie in Christ? I think I do have that one. What do you do? What do it do? Strafe now randomly fires piercing shots at nearby enemies. Interesting. Offhand and Rodella's light braid for the Rodella's. I don't know that chess piece either. Rodella's. I like the name though. Rodella's. Rodella fellas. So each time Strafe deals damage to an enemy, it, uh, its damage against that enemy is increased by 6% up to 30%. Interesting, but strafe has to deal the day. Oh strafe. I was thinking it was um, es uh, Escape, okay, so that has a lot of uh, snowball ability not much had nine and a half hour stream Here's the question Damn. I get asked all the time. Why does this build work? This build works because I strafe now randomly fires piercing shots at nearby enemies dealing 23,000 damage and then of course the Main hand and the chest and everything yeah, else everything that kind of damage as well as your charm literally so everything all this is damage gets buffed it. And this is per shot. And because it fires four piercing shots at an enemy or random enemies, it does 23,000 per shot minimum. One, two, three, four. Oh. One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three, four. All right. So there's piercing shots between three and four. Each one of those will do 23,000 damage. Damn, that's crazy. And they can all hit the same target. And then that's where your damage comes from. So you kind of use wind wheel blade, you hold them in place, you dash, and then you hit them as hard as you can or as fast as you can. And then you kind of get out. So between your dashes, your wind wheel blade, and then you're you swing on top yeah. of them, hit them, throw your spinning shot from again. Dash around them, throw it like this. Do that again. That's kind of how it plays. This looks sick, by the way. Uh, Luke, uh, yeah, Luke Kang says it's not a, a whale heavy build because I managed to shred it with 1300 rezo. That's awesome. Build is really good. Yeah, I'm missing. So here we are the two at the train hands. dummy. I don't want to explain what I mean by each piercing shot. Oh, wow. So as you saw right there, I fired strafe and let go yeah it was like three shots and it didn't just do twenty three thousand damage yeah you can see how four fire oh my god that's target. crazy how much damage it's gonna so do with one strafe motion you fire four of the piercing beams at the same target and can do 107k damage this Damn. of course gets buffed by the chest piece I'll by doing more damage the longer that you channel this gets buffed by all your gems, which I currently have nothing in because I just oh. wanted to showcase what it looked like. But gloom huh. buffs the damage. Everything buffs that damage. So you can imagine what you do in PvP. You kind of just dash and then you hold. Oh my god. And then you can do a lot of damage, especially if all the piercing shots hit the same target. Right. Obviously, target, yeah. it does less damage than the Pain Sour variants because you're not firing your primary attack. But the nice thing about this build uh, is the distance and the speed. It's more bursty for These sure. Piercing beams pretty much instantly make it to the target. Yeah, I was saying like, the biggest thing with this build is that it's way more bursty than the first one. So I see what he means by this is a more whale uh, centric build because it's going to be. Like it'll be that much stronger with a whale, but uh, to Liu Kang's point, I could definitely see where it'd just be good in general. Oh, the I, wish I, had those, I wish I had those two other pieces, I would try it out. Built sometimes your target will move and you will fail to hit the target at a 
distance about this distance right here. So, oh, I and you'll see in the clips how I can be at max distance pretty much off screen and be hitting the target with this build. And for this build, Paragon tree wise, yeah. I. All right, so he's running the Paragon. All right, let's see. Reforges, new essences. Oh, wait, he adjust? Is are very underperforming in PvP. And if we look at the new ones, the helm is primary attack speed for every bleeding enemy. Could be useful. Not that useful in PvP unless they're all grouped up. Oh, these are just his thoughts on the new essences. Okay, okay. Wait, is this another build? Lion Jaw? Player's Banquet, Escalating Violence, Slayer's Breaches, Unrelenting Fur, Lion Jaw, Fang Spitter, and Pain Sour. Unfortunately, the offhand has an issue. Yes, it does empower your primary attack. Oh, yeah. So the faster your primary attack fires, the more chakrams you throw. It works really nice with Strafe. Yeah, it does. And the Pain Sour build. The issue... Oh, right now he still is? That you run into. Understood is you have to be in melee range to get the shock from to bounce oh so if you see i have to be right here in order oh, for damn. it to bounce and when you're this close to a target especially a tempest or a blood knight or a necro or anything with like aoe dead. damage yeah you're just too close that's a good point I want, does he have it oh he doesn't show any gameplay Oh, he does. He does. All right, cool. I want to show. I want to see the gameplay. Bye. Oh, with the music. Oh God, please don't be in uh, uh, DMCA. So that's what he meant by the off screen there. All right, I'm a little t paranoid about uh, DMCA, so I'm gonna play this without music. All right, so at least I can talk on top of it now. So you can see where he's like off screening people like he was talking about. And he, he is he's very dashy. He's getting his escapes refilled quick, too. Yeah, I mean, basically, as soon as he used it, he got it back. Oh, my God. So he's zoning people with the spinning chakra or whatever it's called. And then just destroying. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, keys. I see you, bud. Okay. And then just chasing people down. Just bullying them. I want to see what kind of lobby this is. I don't know if he'll show it, but I'm really curious what kind of lobby this would be. That's a Tempest. He just straight up chased down and destroyed. <laughs> this looks fun. So I can't try this one because I don't have the two new essences, the two new offhands. But boy, howdy, does that look fun. I think I know Z-Bear. That's funny. Oh, finally went down. Lemon ice? Maybe we know lemon ice. Lemon ice. So bursty. He does a ton of damage. No doubt about that. So I like how he did this video. Like the structure of the video is actually really cool. So he does, he, spend the, he spends the majority of it explaining the video. And at the very end, he shows the gameplay. So that way, like if you don't want to watch it, you don't have to. Um, so again, huge shout out to Keys, dude. This is, this build is sick. So again, uh, two builds in this video. Uh, I will be trying out the first one. Um, but the second one also looks borderline more fun but i'm missing two of the essences so shout out to keys again link to his full video and his youtube channel in the description um very very high iq gameplay an individual and like i said in the beginning knows way more about the demon hunter than i do a lot of respect for him um and generally a great guy so go sub to keys show him the love go comment on his video let him know that misery sent you he is west for sure yeah, oh, you're, I see what you're saying, uh, Ellie. Yeah, he is West. He's he's on, on the West Coast for sure. What up, James? So, yeah, go show Keys some love. Um, huge shout-out to him. Fantastic builds. Uh, very awesome detail. So, love it, love it, love it. Go show him the love. All right.